Hey guys, it's Brooke Thomas talking to you again on breaking muscle about the stuff that we do in our day-to-day -day life that sets us up for shoulder injuries. So in particular, all the screen shenanigans, the typing, and the texting. And so this is a really nice stretch to pepper throughout your work day. It's great for lengthening the pec minor, pec minor being a little guy, that downward and forward rotation of the scapula is what it creates when it gets too short. So you want to keep that nice and long. It's also a nice dose of external rotation for the humerus if you've been typing an internal rotation throughout your day. So you're going to start by externally rotating your arm. Pinky side of the hand is going to go on the wall behind you. That's at shoulder height, so it's not up here. I'm standing parallel to the wall, and I'm just going to bring my feet to point into uh, the center of the room at about a 45 degree angle. And then I'm going to take my chest to try and match that angle of my feet. It likely won't get there, but that's the direction you're moving in. And the main thing to pay attention to is that you don't bend at the elbow or let the palm come flat. This is a perfectly good pec major stretch, but pec minor is the one that attaches to our scapula and pulls our shoulders into that rounded position. So you want the palm facing up towards the ceiling the whole time. And then you just come to the other side. Remember, pinky side of the hand on the wall. Toes point into the center of the room, and you're drawing your chest into that angle towards the center of the room, making that palm nice and wide open to the ceiling the entire time. So there you have it. It is short, it's sweet, and doesn't make you look like a crazy person at work, mostly. And it's a great way to feel like your collarbones are a mile long and you don't have that schlumpy shoulder posturing. And most important of all, it keeps you from a really unpleasant injury down the road in your shoulders.